Ooh, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're diving into some more sons of anarchy and i am ready okay like i'm really looking forward to seeing more of this show man really really do because i really want to see how they wrap up the entire series to be honest we have um you know after this one it's gonna be three seasons to go we are in season four episode five and six today and i gotta say man things are ramping up things are getting really really spicy we got a one extra episode for this season and man oh man oh man i can't tell you how excited i am to see what's going to happen this season because we need we we need that falling out we need to know what what is going to happen when or if Jax finds out that Gemma and Clay plotted and killed his father we need to know and it seems like Piney and Tara is about to work together to get to the bottom of the truth but we'll see how that turns out, right? So we're not going to waste any more time here. I know probably all of you guys are already gone to watch <laughs> the reaction already. So let's just jump over there and I will see you guys for the review. All right, season four. Episodes 5 and 6, man. Really good episodes. This show is very well written. And I know I've said that probably hundreds of times by now about this show. Maybe not a hundred times, but still, I've said it a lot of times. And it's the roller coaster of emotions that you go through watching this show because this show brings you in. It, it has that immersion of you feeling like you're a part of this world you know what i'm saying this universe that they've created um you know because most of this shit is is so real it's so relatable you know what i'm saying even though you probably never been in a motorcycle gang you could probably relate to a lot of stuff that they go through on their daily daily like you can imagine if you were a criminal you know what i'm saying that those are the things you would be dealing with you know and I think the most intriguing thing about this entire thing is not even the fact that they do these criminal things. It's just their day-to-day -day lives that we're witnessing. What they're going through is the most interesting thing about, you know, their interactions with each other. So there's a lot of things confirmed in these two episodes. We learned that, you know, Gemma might not know the real reason why Clay killed John. She might not know the real reason. You know what I'm saying? She might think he he killed him just to get her. She might just think that that was all it was. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know for, you know, I don't know for sure. I can tell you that much. I don't know for sure. So in terms of where, you know, where this is going to end, I mean, a man... You know, a, a guy that was waiting to be patched in for so long got patched in and got killed by, got killed because of Juice just not being up front. What is going to happen now when they find out? And I know they're going to find out. They're going to find out that he killed. They're going to find out. If they don't find out that Juice killed this dude, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he, I don't want to say innocent, but he's innocent towards the charge of him stealing the the you know the key the key of coke that wasn't him you know so that was all juice you know what i'm saying and he got the sample too so here we go i know chibs is still like really you know suspicious of him i see that chibs is really suspicious of him so i think chibs is gonna still like keep an eye on him you know, it's tough, man. It's a tough decision. And as I've stated before, like, I really feel bad. I don't know what her, I don't remember her name, but I feel bad for her 
she didn't deserve what Jax did to her, even though, and, and, and that's the thing about it too, where, you know, you're, when I said roll, you know, roller coaster of emotions that you go through, because at the same time, you know, you know, some people are going to say, oh, she deserves it because she keeps coming around and seducing these men. No, men got to learn how to keep their shit in their pants, too. It's not just about the woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as you, you know what I mean? Like, you can't bear the responsibility only on the woman to be, you know, to have restraint. You know, you can't be that responsibility. A woman is seducing you. You're married. You need to have the self-control to walk away from that situation. You need to, you know. So I'm looking, you know, at the situation, knowing and understanding that, you know, the, 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 the burden is not just on her, you know. And I get why Jax is upset, but. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to do that. I knew what he was going to do from the moment he... Because there was no other reason for him to go over there. You know what I'm saying? And they kind of switched scenes to make it seem like he actually was going to sleep with her. But I wasn't fooled for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't fooled. You know, if the episode had ended and they didn't show anything else, then I would have said maybe... You know what I'm saying? Maybe he did sleep with her or he's been sleeping with her on the side, but... You know, I didn't lose hope because I knew that he was probably going to do so. I thought he would have killed her. Honestly, I thought he was going to kill her. Um, she didn't deserve that. And that could be trouble for them because she, she, I don't think she knows the inner workings of the club, but she knows enough to know that they're all freaking criminals. So that could be something that, you know, could be a plot line later on. She could be a witness, you know, somehow. I don't know, but dude lost his life because of juice you know what i'm saying i didn't know i didn't know as i was saying i said if that rule is in place it needs to change because they are not in my opinion they're not racist outright like that but that rule makes the club racist and the reason why i say that rule makes the club racist you cannot just you can't have a group or an organization that's like you're no better than the Ku Klux Klan. I know you're not out here killing people, but you can't just decide, oh, whites only. That's not cool. You get what I'm saying? And and I'm doing this in, in the most modest way that you can think. Like, that's like me, you know, what? <laughs> that's like me going out, starting a business or starting an organization and be like, no white people, no Indian people, no Asian people. It's the same thing. Even though you're not outright saying that you hate these people, your behavior is saying that. That's what your club is representing. Your club is representing racism. You get what I'm saying? So even though you might be saying, uh, you know, I don't like Asian people. I just don't want them in my club. You get what I'm trying to say? So it just kind of feels that way in, in, in that opinion. And as I said, I don't believe them them inertly. I don't think that I don't think they're racist. That's what I'm saying. They deal with black people. I mean, they, I mean, you know, we did have Piney for a second. They like went off on them, you know, in a club when they thought that they killed Donna. But, you know, other than that, like, I don't I don't feel like this club is a racist club. Like, I don't think that they hate black people to the point where they want to, you know, they see them. They're not like. You know, the other dude, what, I can't even remember his name, Darby, right? They're not like that. They're not like the people that we had to deal with last season. They're not those people, you know what I'm saying? So I don't believe that at, on a personal level they hate black people, but they do need to change that rule. And I think that if, hap if Juice had just spoken up, you know what I'm saying? I think that if Juice... Had just spoken up. I think he would not be in this position right now. I think if he had went and sat with Clay and be like, "Hey, man, you know, I really wanted to be a part of the Motor Club, and you know that rule, you know, I think they would have changed it. I think it's a rule that they could solidly, because of his long standing in the club, him being a patch member, you know what I'm saying." 
that they would just let it slide, you know what I mean? Or just abolish the rule completely, you know? Um, I just don't understand why that rule was in place in the first place. I mean, it was a different time. We don't know, I don't know how long the, the club has been around. Could have been way back in the day where they was like, oh, this and that or whatever. Uh, I don't know why. I, I don't want to go through the history of the club. I'm just looking at it from a point of view of what I'm seeing now. And just looking at it and be like, that rule needs to be abolished. Is all I'm trying to say. Right? So, it looks like they put out, they literally just, Clay just literally put out a hit on Tara. I'm not loving that. Clay literally just became my most hated character in the show. You don't do that. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? To protect yourself. To protect your ass. You you, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? He put out a hit. He, first of all, he told a lie to... You gotta be... I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. That's all I have to say about that. So, because I don't want to get mad right now because Clay is wild and out here. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. I appreciate y'all as always for tuning in. Hopefully, you guys watch this, my review. Come back, check out the review. Watched it till the end. Really do appreciate you guys for doing that. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys next time for some more Sons of Anarchy. Peace.